Welcome to the very first screencast of SQL Tidbits, where we give you just a tidbit to keep you coming back. In today's screencast, we'll cover correlated subqueries and how you can actually eliminate them through joins. The query I have on the screen is basically an example of many queries that I see often submitted to me that contain a sub correlated subquery. Correlated subquery is simply a query that cannot run by itself. If I try to run this inner query by itself, uh, it will not be able to run because it, it's correlated to the drawer inventory table which is outside of it, so it's correlated to the outer query and cannot run all by itself. What we want to do in this case is convert this to a join. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, let's see how this works. Uh, basically, if I run this query, and I execute it, and I'll bring the results on the screen. It goes ahead and takes the, the various drawers uh, previous amounts and will update them to the new amounts. So pretty simple and straightforward. But we can rewrite this in a much better, more concise fashion. So I'm going to go ahead and, and comment out this code here. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this, this statement. Uh, basically, instead, what we're going to go ahead and do is write an update. And then I'm going to alias the table as di for drawer inventory. Then I'm going to set the amount equal to another alias table, a temp table, and the old amount. You can see that's exactly what we're doing up here. We're setting the amount basically to the old amount from this temporary table. Now I simply have to tell her where I'm going to get that information from. So I'm going to get it from dbo.drawerInventory, which is aliased as di, drawer inventory. And I'm going to join that to the temporary table, which I'm going to alias as tmp. I'm going to join that on the di.uniqueID equals the unique ID. And that's it. So in just uh, four or five lines, depending on how you would write this statement, we have the same function there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click up here and reset um, my example, and I'm going to run the same query again. And you'll notice I get the same similar results back. Uh, correlated subqueries are more difficult to maintain. They often could have performance issues uh, because they have to do row by row comparisons. So there are many advantages, including the fact that if you noticed here, I had to actually have the the subquery the twice um, in order to make this work this way, and so this is much more concise code, and I hope that uh, you can see the benefits of it. Well, today we've covered uh, correlated subqueries in just a quick way that you can change them over to joins, and hope you've enjoyed this first screen cast of SQL tidbits, where we give you just a little tidbit to keep you coming back. See you next time.